Video 3 – How to Use the Tracker Hello! In this tutorial we are going to explore the tracker, Sunvox's built-in pattern-based sequencer. Up to now we have used the keyboard to play a module. A sequencer, or tracker in our case, is that part of the software that allows us to automate this process by scheduling events for our modules. If the synths modules represent our instruments, you can think of the sequencer as if it were our score. Our sequencer has, at the moment, 32 lines or steps which correspond to two bars of 4-4 four, four time, and only one column. This means that we can only write instructions for playing one module over two bars. Let's try to write down a simple melody for our analog generator. First of all, Select the module you want to write for. Click on this icon to unlock the tracker and to be able to write notes inside it. In order to enter a note into the tracker, we can use the keyboard. By pressing the OCT- and OCT+, plus buttons, you can scroll the keyboard in order to represent different octaves, as you can see from the numbers beside the note names on the keys. To insert notes into the right tracker's slots, you can use your finger to move across these slots. Or you can use the arrows after exposing them by clicking this button here. Now we are ready to write our simple melody. Once you are done, you may press the playback button, which has a P beside it, to listen to what we wrote. You can see that the tracker is moving downward, and each time a step is reached, it is highlighted, so we can know exactly which point of our score we are listening to. Each column or track contains four kinds of data, Use your finger or the arrows to scroll between them. The first slot contains the notes you want to play and which we can enter via the keyboard. The second slot corresponds to the octave of the note we entered, and we can easily edit it through this tab that replaces the window whenever we select this specific slot. The third slot is currently empty and contains a velocity value that defines how loud the note is going to be played. If no value has been assigned, like now for example, this note will be reproduced at its maximum loudness. Let's assign a different velocity value for the note we already entered. The velocity can be set using this tab here. The last values correspond to the module's number we are currently playing. You might have noticed that each note keeps sounding until the next one is triggered. We can overcome this limitation by entering a Note Off event by clicking on the Off tab. Once the tracker has been unlocked, the uppermost tab allows us to perform other actions. Delete a note by pressing Del. INS, as in INSERT, allows us to move all subsequent notes one step forward. BCK, as in BACK, does exactly the opposite as INS. Let's try to add a new module to see how we deal with the tracker when we have to send playback information to more than one module. I will take a drum synth that is similar to our analog generator, apart from it being meant to create percussive sounds. To add a track to our tracker or sequencer, we need to select this menu. 
Here, one can find many operations to perform on the tracker. But I'm going to show you this in more detail later. For the moment, choose Pattern Properties. This panel contains everything which concerns the tracker. We can give it a name. Add more tracks. That was exactly what we were looking for. I wrote two because we need to command two instruments. We can add or delete lines or steps. I chose 16, so now we have only one bar made of 16 steps. We can double or cut in half the whole amount of steps and their content. Each pattern is associated with a pixelated icon. By clicking on it, we can edit its content. This is going to be useful in our next tutorial, dedicated to the timeline, so we shall discard it for the moment since it has no effect on the overall sound. Let's go back to the tracker and write some notes for the drum synth as well. Now we can listen to the content of the tracker. Okay, as you have heard, a pattern created in the tracker will be repeated in a looping fashion. In our next tutorial, we will see how to arrange different loops together via the timeline.